Dr. from Makeato Clinic. Today I am going to share some information on uh, how to make it make the fuse when the vehicle is off road or when you are in remote place or something and if you don't have any extra fuses with you then how to deal with it. So it's simple it's a very small trick with it. I am just going to show you how exactly it has to be done. Just hook up my camera now. Okay. Now, just consider there are two wires which you have to basically connect those two wires and you have to use one fuse in between two, those two wires just for the security purpose, just in case if you don't have fuse now how to make it, right. So we have to make a fuse out of something which is available on the road or with the bike. So these are two wires which has to be connected to the fuse but we don't have fuse now I have another wire with me it's a multi strand wire so I'm just going to cut small piece out of this wire now remember one thing we have to make a fuse we don't want to make a continuous normal joint we need a fuse so out of this just in case the wire is multi strand out of this try to pull all the strands by keeping only one strand by keeping only one strand if you can't you can try if you can't then also no problem at all what you can do is you can use one strand any one of any one of the, any one of the strand like this now we do not know if this is the same strand from this side or not so just leave it no problem at all there is a connectivity so the fuse part will become this point if the fuse wants to blow out then it will blow from this side or from this side so what I am going to do is like I am going to strip the sleeve from both the wires This two wire has got too much, I mean, uh, carrying capacity of this wire, voltage carrying capacity of this wire is higher than what this has, right? So, I am going to just twist only one strand with my existing wire and the remaining point with this. So at this moment and stage, I use only one strand from this wire. At this moment and stage, my fuse point is basically if it wants to burn, then this will burn from this point or this point. Now the fuse is only one strand. So this may be near to 5 ampere, not more than that. So the doesn't matter what amperes you are using, but you have to use minimum strand in that case. So it will it should burn because the fuse is given or any fuse or the fuses are given in the bike for security purpose so if you directly connect these two wires to each other so something else might burn so to keep it safe you need to use the fuse so if you don't have fuse you can use the uh, another wire but by using only one strand if you don't have this wire as well then in that case instead of this wire you can use wrapper aluminium wrapper aluminium foil wrapper from the cigarette box just make a small piece of uh, aluminium foil uh, round as a cigarette only very small thin and just connect both the wires to each other and then tap it I'm just going to remember don't forget to close the both ends now I'm just going to tape this okay now the wires are together both the wires are together connected to each other by using only one strand to show you I'll just cut all the remaining strands ok 
okay now the fuse is connected now there is only one strand which is joined to another wire now don't try to worry about it now we have a fuse in between so just in case if there is any short circuit this this single strand will get burned very fast and rapidly instead of this wire if you don't have wire if you don't have wire then instead of this wire you can use cigarette uh, of a foil aluminium foil from your cigarette packet you know you get one aluminium foil which is very thin in thickness so you can use that the foil will get burned instead of this wire just in case if there is any short circuit see remember one thing the fuses which are given from the company side are for the security purpose if the fuse is getting blown or time if it is getting blown off all the time in your one right that means you have to consider there is one short circuit somewhere in between there is one short circuit in one of the circuitry that means there is uh, there is a problem there is a problem that means we have to take care of that issue the root cause may be not only fuse but the root cause may be something else which is short circuiting the main circuitry because of that the, uh, the fuse is getting blown so by keeping by joining both the wires to each other you may create some more uh, i mean you may increase the issue while riding the bike so instead of that better to join the fuse in between two heavy wires and then start riding just in case if it blows before riding also then you have to consider there is a problem in one of the circuitry then you have to check out these two wires are responsible for which circuitry if it is for ignition then you have to check the ignition if it is for indicator or any horn or headlight then you have to check all the circuitry according to the wire code for fault the fault diagnosis has to be there done there after checking out and after repairing the wiring harness and then you don't have fuse then you can go for this kind of a connection it's very simple just in case if it is not blowing and if you are ride if you have ridden the bike for at least 100 km or 100 200 or whatever the kilometers that means there may be problem in the fuse but not necessary all the time so always check the root cause while working on the electrical so this is the very simple trick to make the fuse now i have kept the both no i kept both the terminals open so you just have to uh, use the insulation tape over here and so the uh, so at this point so this should not get short circuit with the body or with any other electrical equipment so you have to secure the temporary fuse as well you, you cannot just depend on like this you cannot depend on this because there are so many other electrical components in the bike so just tape this one as well with the help of insulation tape and then start riding or start checking the root cause of the electrical short circuitry thanks for watching have a nice day